Welcome, welcome, welcome back, everyone, to Meadow Grove Farm Extended, Life of a Dairyman, dun, dun, dun. Well, all my machine heads, we finally did it. This will be the final episode of Farming Simulator 19 that will be recorded before Farming Simulator 22 drops. I will be releasing this video on a Monday. Dun, dun, dun. Is it the last video in the series? Absolutely not. But it is also going to be an exciting time when Farming Simulator 22 drops. I know many, many, many of you are seriously excited about it, as well as I am. But on the same token, I am not going to let this series go down in flames. We've worked too hard. Uh, so we will be continuing it. So let's. Uh, this, this episode is going to be kind of a... Let's move everything around. Let's get stuff set up where we want it. Let's get our tractors and things moved and put away and go from there. And possibly, let's run over here real quick, possibly check and see if some of our grass fields that we just mowed, cut, baled, and silage wrapped, all that stuff, uh, if they need or can use some fertilizer. And yes, they can. So we can fertilize as well. So I just wanted to let everybody know that as much as it's a little downer that this isn't the only series we're going to have. It's also exciting to realize that we have something new coming. I've been wink wink peeking in on other people's gameplay today and I've been watching other people play it and it is really well done. So... What did we decide to do last time? We decided that we are going to put our harvester in the other shed. So let's get busy here and do some moving around first, and then we'll fertilize. So as usual, got to do my little let's go. So welcome, 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 everybody, to the Realistic Farming Channel for Farming Simulator 19, where we use real tractors, we use our real equipment, we have uh, realistic tutorials, and we have a real lot of fun. So I was wondering if I would be able to do that with a weight on. Uh, no. So now I gotta take this weight off. Let's just pop it back into place over here. <laughs> oh, how come that didn't lower it? Oh, because I'm not on it. There, now let's go move our mixer. <clears throat> there we go. Now I've got some time to talk and some. some uh, not so much crappy stuff in my throat. I think a lot of it is because when I, uh, this big old dusty house, I'm drinking soda. And, uh, that tends to coat, coat my throat. So that's why I'm like, ugh. Alright, so we're just gonna move this. Now this is a heavy piece of equipment because I can tell because this poor little tractor is bogging way down. I'm going to leave that running. I am taking a shot in the dark and I'm really hoping this fits in here. I really mu much looked at this on the outside. Oh, the other thing is, you can see up in the right-hand corner, we are a negative $2 now because guess what happened? Just like we talked about, the bank came and took all their money back. So I paid off my loan, got rid of all that loanage, so we don't owe anything. But now, this map is set up where I don't know if this is going to fit in here. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I got an idea here. I know this will fit in here, so I'm going to take the header and I'm going to put it up against this wall here right in here
Hmm. We'll have to go to the other side and do it. Oh, you can do it from inside the cab. Huh, that's kind of neat. Oh, it's been so long since I've had it hooked up. Oops. Get this a little more straight. I know it'll fit in there. In fact, I think I'm going to park my other tractors in here, too. Look at that. This thing is fits in here like a glove. Look at that. Let's see if we can get a screenshot of that for the final video. Yeah, right there is good. And then our header is out here. Which is broke through. All right. So don't mind this for one second here. No one sees this. Everybody turn their head. Maybe. No. That's not what I want. I was just trying to turn the super strength on. Can you not grab it? I just want that because it's through the wall there. Hmm. Well, not the end of the world. We'll have to leave it there for now because I got other stuff I got to get done. I'll have to fix it with the, with the header because as you can see, it is poking through the wall and it's not very realistic. All right, so let's put this away here where she belongs so all of our feeding implements are in here out of the rain I don't know why that's dragging so much. Get it more in the middle here. There we go. So that's taken care of. That other thing's taken care of. So instead of just turning on the super strength, I'm going to grab the uh, harvester back out and pull it out a little bit. Do, 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 do. It didn't let me grab it. That's the thing. See how it won't. No little hand, red hand comes up. Ring, 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 ring. <laughs> I hope they fix that part of it in FS22. That uh, ring, 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 ring. Nobody starts their harvester like that. <laughs> I do like what I am going to get. Ex what I am excited about for Farm Sim 22 is, um. There we go. Now she's not through the wall or anything. There you go. Um. Oh, was I going to say? Oh, what I am excited about is the fact that you can get workers to do different jobs. Like, you can send your workers now to head down to the shop. Or, uh, I gotta get this different, 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 different. Here he's gotta be quiet for two seconds so he can drive. Uh, you can send them to empty grain or empty out. Oh, I just can't wait for that because the workers, the AI workers in this game are pretty, you just set them to do a field and then when they're done they just kinda sit there. There. Now, Fury can stop playing around with that. We're going to put both of our tractors in there. Uh, our Ford's in here, so we're going to get that out of here. We're going to have an actual space for our tractors now.
Perfect. Perfect. And then uh, this one. With her shiny mismatched weight. Take a look at our fleet. Oh, I got one more tractor, but um, it's our mowing tractor. I think I can leave the equipment hooked up on it. Been getting, uh, letting everybody know too, I've been getting all of my DLCs rearranged from my Steam library for, library, library, uh, for my, um, truck sim. Because what happened is when I bought a new computer, like I told you guys. Guys, be nuts when it, all the equipment's raised up. Uh, when I sw I bought the new computer, like I told you guys a few episodes ago, when I was on my potato PC, potato laptop, then I got my medium PC, and then I got this one. I just downloaded the the Truck Sims vanilla version. I never, I still own the downloadable content. It, it's, it was just in my Steam library, library, <laughs> library. Uh, so I've been spending the last few days because that's the other good news. There is, let me get a, a screenshot. There's our our fleet. Mowing tractor, baling tractor, stacking tractor, field tractor, and harvester. Uh, I'm going to set it up to where I'm going to do one episode of this, one episode of FS22, one episode of Truck Sim. So we're not going to get seven day a week farm sim and I'm going to do one other game because you can't have a name called Fury Machine Gaming and only do one game. That doesn't make any sense to me. All right. So now bale, hay bales, straw bales, fertilizer, cultivator, lime. Perfect. All these now should be. That's our cedar and our subsoiler. Perfect. So we know where that is. Now, this is open. So that's our shed now. Uh, our, I mean, our shop. This here is just empty now, so I can put an overflow of bales here if I wanted. Bale trailer. Everybody knows there. Uh, seeds. Fertilizer. Lime. I won't have to open doors. So I already know where that is. Over here is our mowing wrapper. And our, what do you call that there? Wind rower. Reek and our baler. So we still have what I may do is move. The, where can we move that to so it's closer and have all three of these together? Because then I can put one or the other. I can fill with more bales if I need to. Um, I like keeping that there. I actually should move these two over there. And put bale. I can stack a gazillion bales in here with my skid steer or my front loader if I wanted. Ah, uh, let's see. One of them can go in here. Ah, got it. All right, let's do this. I told you it was going to be a bunch of moving around just to get organized. Now, unfortunately, with these three tractors here, I've got to go up on a front wheel and then get into our green one. Uh, and I got to lower the weight down. Actually, you know what? Let's take the Ford. Oop, got to fix my steering wheel. I was playing some truck sim today. All right, so let's move one of these. Is 
this will be our other bale shed. See, that is like dragging on the ground. Is there something that is happening? Is there something that I should raise it up with? It just feels like it's dragging. Well, let's try this then. Still dragging. Still don't know if this is going to be the right way we're going to keep this, but... Because what I'd really like to do is get these, those two together over here. Um... So they're together. Alright, I got an idea. A little more moving around. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. get by there. Well, it should be mostly the episode of moving stuff around. But we'll, then we'll be set up, though. Then we'll have a spot for everything, and everything won't change, and it won't go nuts. Uh, Fury won't lose his, his tractors and stuff again, because I'll know exactly where they are. Uh, I'm going to come here. Because I really, really, really want another spot for bales. I don't want to have to just fit, you know... A certain amount, and that's it. Let me get in here so I can stop doing that. But I, uh, getting back to the Farm Sim 22, I am getting excited about the uh, not just the workers, but the having seasons, having a lot of mods that I normally use included. I got two bales in there. Because this thing and the the feed wagon will be using every single day. So that it'll be close to the animals. It's like the little green marker that you have to hit on truck sim. It's like Come on, Fury, get it in there. All right, there's that. Now, 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 we'll take this bad boy out of here, and I'll put the baler in here. I still don't know why this thing is dragging on the ground. See? See? I wonder if that has something to do with the realistic weights that I have downloaded. Because it might. It very much might. Because there's 6.8 tons of silage in here. That's uh, 12,000 pounds. But still, it's like it's dragging. It's like something's locked up on it. You know what? Let's see here. Close cover is N. No. We don't want that. Uh, let's see. Stop engine. Open cover. That's definitely not what it is. Okay, what's this do? Okay, that's my door. Oh, okay, I see. That's the door. That's the back window. Okay. 
There's nothing with that. I don't know. I don't know why it's doing it, but it's... Uh, it's hard to explain, but it feels like it's literally dragging on the ground. Doesn't that look much better? Alright, and I'll go grab my baler. Get this hideous thing off there. I am absolutely in love with this baler. I hope they have that same kind of equipment. Like, I'm hoping the modders get a hold of this game, 22, really close and really quick, and start modding these older tractors in there. Because you know, um, like I was watching this video today of uh, like the last video that Giants put out, and uh, the guy was like, "Oh, you know, my ultimate goal is to drive the biggest equipment that I can," and I'm like, "Not me." I mean, I, I still use the biggest equipment, don't get me wrong, but my goal is to farm. Oh, yeah, and to answer a question for Mr. Uh, Farmer Z, Mr. Farmer Z, uh, I don't have any social media, so thank you for the invite to Twitter and things like that, but I don't have a social media at all as i explained to you guys before for personal reasons and things like that i just don't have any i got rid of my twitter and i don't have it anymore so i i appreciate the advert the the invitation to come join your twitter and things but i just can't so i just wanted to put that out there because i know that he asked me today in the comments all right, let's see in the next eight minutes if we can get this field fertilized. Took me 22 minutes to move everything around. Now, this should let me fertilize this. I'm hoping it does. I know this is only an 8 meter, so we're going to come out a little bit. Yep. We are fertilizing. So according to this, the edge of the field is right there. See it? I must have mowed up on the bank. <laughs> this will give us, I mean, realistically, we never fertilize grass. It's, that's kind of... You can do it in farm sim, and you almost have to to get any kind of yield, but this isn't realistic at all. You don't, nobody fertilizes grass. You just let it grow. But we're going to do it in the constraints of farm sim. Now I can see the actual, how much we're using. As I sing a little bit. The life of a dairyman fertilizing and moving tractors and oh I tell you, many, 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 many a day. 
growing up, we would spend days just rearranging and fixing and cleaning and scrubbing and oh, you never have enough because let's say farmers don't spend oh, my headphones again. Oh, I can't wait till Christmas to get new ones. Uh, farmers don't spend a lot of time like fixing stuff unless it's broke. So realistically, you're not uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You're not like putting new pipes on stuff all the time and like you sharpen the blades for the mower like once a year at the beginning of summer and then you don't do it again until the following beginning of the summer. So it's like once a year. So I'm glad that Farm Sim put it in because it is real uh, but it's not something that happens every day. Uh, I think what I would have done if I made a game is incorporated in that the more you use to like a piece of equipment like for example I'm using this Ford constantly I've got I mean I fixed it but you see the other thing that's uh, messed up about it is every time I fix it and repair it it changes the hours used to zero and that's not realistic a, a, a tractor doesn't just stop getting hours on it because it's in a good working order it continues we had thousands and thousands and thousands, and I'm not kidding, probably hundreds of thousands of, of operating hours on our equipment. And the only time you ever fixed them was broke. So if it was me making this game, like I said, I would literally make it so the more you used the tractor, the faster it wore out, and then you had to repair it when something broke on it. Like they could, they could easily incorporate like a wheel breaking or vice versa or something. I mean, realistically look at these tractor tires they don't break every day they don't wear out those treads are probably six inches eight inches deep they don't wear out i mean your tires get bald i'm not gonna lie they uh from using them so you know i'm hoping they fix that in 22 but i don't think they did it's still a video game and they're still gonna do it as uh unrealistically as they can to suit the ca the casual player as I call them not everybody plays realistically like me some of you do some of you enjoy it and just like that everyone this field is fertilized yep we are 67 percent fertilized now now in the next couple of minutes we'll head up and we'll start fertilizing the other field but then when the it's 9.30, we'll wrap this up. And we'll come back and we'll finish fertilizing next time. Uh, I think also I'm going to... It uh, depends on how much time. Because I, like I said before, I'm going to be doing multiple games. So it may... I want to try to set up some time to play ahead a little bit. So that we can start moving and you guys can get through a full year on this. Because if we all, if we all fall in love with 22, like I'm hoping I do... I'm not going to want to come back to this game if it's a downgrade. Uh, even though I don't want to lose the series. So I'll probably play ahead a little bit just to move us along. And once we get through a full year, we can wrap it up if we like 22. So that's where I'm going to leave that. This is officially the last video of that's going to be released on the day of 22. Because I'll record my video for 22 on Monday and then release it Tuesday. So I, it is Friday night. I'm going to enjoy my weekend of not recording, of spending, I'm going to spend the whole weekend, my birthday weekend with the family, and I'm just going to enjoy my birthday. I won't have to record anything until Monday night, which is by midnight when I start to record anyways. My birthday's over at that point. I can just come on and record. that right here all right so what is this at first 33 and then this should say 67 and it does perfect so it'll still it still won't be fully fertilized uh until a growth stage goes through and i don't think the grass can absolutely do that anyways all right, all right, all right, everyone. So we made it to the last video released of Farming Simulator 19 before Farming Simulator 22 drops. It's been a long three years, 
exciting three years. It's been a lot of growth for the channel, and I'm super excited to go on to for Farming Simulator 22. But I'm also excited to keep this going. Uh, we're like I said before, we're going to keep this going and try to get through a year, regardless. Uh, we only have what 12 days to get through total, right? Three, six, nine, twelve, and we're on day two. So if I have to spend some time playing ahead to get game done. At the year, we'll see. It also depends on how much we absolutely fall in love with Farming Simulator 22. And I'm just super stoked about the game because there's going to be a lot of mods that are going to be included in the game. So the casual player can just pick it up and go and not have to worry about downloading a bunch of mods. Crazy people like me, I'll still download a bunch of mods. And on that note, we're going to finish this off and let's say our goodbyes in the forest tonight. So please, please, please... Look out for yourselves, look out for each other, and most importantly, look out for each other's family. That's super important to me. And as usual, please uh, like and subscribe and hit the little notification ding ding bell so you get notified when I release a video. And as everybody knows, other than Sundays, I release a video every single day. And this, I'm going to have a video coming out this Sunday anyways because we're finishing up. And please just like the day, the night, the weekend. Enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it whenever you're watching this. And as usual, your machine will catch everyone on Tuesday. It's going to be a couple of days. Just enjoy the videos I got posted, and I'll be back. I'm going to enjoy the weekend with my family. I'm going to spend some quality time for my birthday. And then I will catch all of you in Farming Simulator 22's Tuesday's video. Fury Machine is out.